Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and let's start crafting. Okay, so I'm taking three of these tall jars and one shorter jar. So my three tall jars are from stuffed garlic olives and the small jar is from minced garlic. So yes, we love our garlic, but you can use whatever jars you like. And I'm also taking some of these little dishes from the Dollar Tree. They come three or four in a pack, I don't remember how many. And I'm also using some of this fix all from the Dollar Tree and some hot glue. But later on, I do end up using E6000 because I, at the time I couldn't find my E6000. But this fix all worked okay. So I'm putting up some fix all on the bottom of these, these dishes and some hot glue as well. That way it can hold immediately. And I'll place this on one of the jars. And I do the same thing to all three of my tall jars. And now I'm going to adhere the smaller jar into one of my tall jars. So I'll do the same thing. I'll add both glues and I'll just set it inside the jar, the small jar and the large jar, the bigger jar. And then my last dish that goes on the top. And I don't show it here, but later on I do end up adding the other dish to the bottom of the jar. Okay, so now that my jars are all assembled, I'm ready to start painting. So see, this is what they look like. So I have one that's really tall, one that's mid-size, and one that's shorter. So now I'm going to take some of these uh, cute little mini pearls that come in a strand. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to place them at the joints where the dish meets the jar. So I'll do this. And also where the jar... But the two jars meet together on this tall one so you'll see and i had a problem with this thing rolling around on me <laughs> but in the end i won <laughs> so i'm going to continue to just place these little half pearls um, where all the joints are and now that i'm done i'm going to set them aside and mix up some chalk paint with a little bit of baking soda and i like this mixture i like it for a good texture on ceramic and glass and it works really well for me so I just mix it up real quick with with the end of a paintbrush until I get it till I like it and so now all I have to do is start painting and I don't film all the painting because we all know how to paint just take a brush and start painting just like this so while this is being painted, um, let me tell you a little bit about today's challenge. And this challenge is called So You Think You Can Craft Challenge and is hosted by Melissa Makes It DIY and co-hosted by Indy Annie Jones. And so this month, the item to craft with are jars. And speaking of jars, here we are trying to finish up the painting and look at this cute little paintbrush. So this is actually a makeup brush, but let me tell you, it makes a great paintbrush. And also, as in with most challenges, there's a playlist associated with it, and it'll be linked in my description box below. And I'll also pin the playlist link in my comments, just in case the link doesn't work in my description box. So if it doesn't work, just go to my comments, it'll be there pinned. Okay, so let's continue in here. I'm trying to speed up the drying process. And so I'm just using my little heat gun to get it going because I want to get with it. <laughs> so now I'm taking some of these shower rings from the Dollar Tree. I'm only going to use two. I'm going to make sure that they're nice and closed. And I'm going to flip these jars upside down and do the same gluing process to the bottoms of two of the jars and I'm and for these I'm only going to use the hot glue I don't use any fix all or, or e6000 or anything and this works pretty good for the plastic and I also add hot glue to the inside to help secure it a little bit more and so you'll see here where I'm just going around the inside and adding more glue and I'll do that to both of these and now I'm, I'm going to go in with some more chalk paint just to 
paint it because it hasn't been painted yet. It's just clear. So I'll just paint this real quick. And I turn my little, this is actually one of those plastic placemats from the Dollar Tree. And it works really well as like a lazy Susan. <laughs> uh, to me it works. So I just kind of spin it around. And that way I don't have to touch any of the wet paint because everything's still wet. So. so I'll just spin it around and keep painting. And once that's painted, now I take my last two little dishes and add some E6000. I found it. I found E6000. And some hot glue. And I'll place it on the last two jars on the bottoms. And so once that's done, then I'll go ahead and paint that, those two jar, or those two dishes. And once I get that painted, I'll go ahead and place my camera at a different angle so you can see better. And I'm taking some of the antique wax from Waverly. And I'm going to put some on this little dabber brush from the Dollar Tree and just add just a very little tiny little bit because I just want to place tiny little bits of it on my candle holders just to stress it a little bit. So I'll put some where the little pearls are on the joints and a little bit on the sides of all of these jars, dishes, which are now have become candle holders. And so I'll just keep turning it around with my little placemat and I'll just keep working it. And if there's an area that is a little too heavy handed, I'll go back in with my white paintbrush with my paintbrush with the white paint and can, and then I'll fix that. So I'll just continue to add a little bit of this antique wax just to give it that look and spin it around. And right now it looks funny because they're actually upside down. <laughs> so they are looking a little bit funny. But once, they, once they're right side up, they'll look super cute. But yeah, these are jars. Who would have thought? These are just simple little jars. And you can use any kind of jars. You can use thinner jars, taller jars, smaller jars, wider jars. And then these little dishes from the Dollar Tree. They're so cool. They're so versatile. Okay, so I'm almost done. And I do end up adding some of the antique wax to the insides of the little dishes where the candles are going to go. And these, you can actually flip them upside down and use either end. And I just keep working it, keep blending. So I just keep painting, keep blending until I get it like I like it. And so yeah, pretty much I'm done. And I'm so happy with them. I think they came out so cute. I love the texture on them I love the color of them and when my husband saw him he thought he was like really those are jars he couldn't believe it <laughs> so yeah I was so happy with these and I'd like to thank Melissa from Melissa makes it DIY and Annie from Indiana Jones for hosting and co-hosting this challenge this monthly so you think you can craft challenge with jars as being our item for the month and it was fun. I had a lot of fun working on these and happy to have these as part of my decor. And don't forget to follow the playlist that will be in my description box below. And if that doesn't work, go to my comments and it will be pinned on there. So you'll be able to find them either way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helped me out starting this new channel especially and until my next video stay healthy safe and strong and have a great great day bye bye